today we are going to make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not going to be that kind of grass. It's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models have practically built Stray. themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv, and welcome to the Kit Hoarder Stash. Today, well, I've got a kit that if you uh, built armor at pretty much any time in your life, you probably have built this kit already, but maybe not. So I'm going to review it anyway. And that is the Tamiya US113 ACAV kit. This is a great kit. Um, even if you're not into 113s, this is still a really good kit. Let's open it up and take a look at it, shall we? It's still in the shrink wrap. Ooh, ah. Not for long. Not for long. Not with me. Okie dokie, let's see what we got here. Oh. Yeah, the doghouse is still a huge mess. <laughs> oh. Winter time. I hate it. Well, we're just going to have to leave that. Okay. So on the box, you've got this alternate painting scheme that I actually really, really like. And it shows some of the weapons that it comes with. Ooh, ah. But wait, there's more. Staples. They have staples. Yeah, this kit's been out and around for a lot of years, and you know it's still pretty decent. So we've got some M60s here. I've got a Mod Deuce, a um, couple of different, like three different deflector shields there, um, a cupola, and then you got some figures. That figures you'd have figures, an RPG, uh, an AK47, um, an M16. <clears throat> and a uh, stretcher, <laughs> I don't know, uh, caught, there you go, um, and then stuff for the crew. Got this uh, plastic, vinyl, I don't know what it is, but it's screen material, and some copper wire. Here is your main, um, you know, same as it's always been, and well molded. This is interesting. Let's see here. Poly caps. Uh, the roof of the ACAV. We have wheels and sprocket and all kinds of, you know, that kind of suspension type stuff. And there's also another Mod Deuce in here, by the way. So to me, a modus, so it's, you know, not great, but it's still. Um, fenders, uh, other parts of the body, a cupola, and a hatch. Yay for the hatch work! But this is interesting. In this kit, we have the, the soft vinyl um, rubber band tracks, and I actually like those. Because the Tamiya cement uh, works to glue them together. And I like rubber band tracks. I am not a fan of assembling a thousand track links. It's just not my thing, you know. So here's this sprue that is in uh, molded in gray. It looks like we have a V8 engine, which is kind of neat. Is that really a V8? That's what it looks like to me. Um, a floor and some other pieces, parts, some seats and, and whatnot. So... That's kind of interesting. I don't remember that from many years ago, but who knows? Um, really good decals, though. Check out these decals. Um, yeah, Coca-Cola, Marlboro. Very nice. Definitely, definitely some cool stuff there. Definitely. And then here's the destructions. And then tips in Japanese. Okay. 
Same thing here. Here's the engine, the engine compartment area, doing the suspension work. And you can see just different parts and pieces. Uh, looks like we've got 11 steps for the ACAV. 11 steps to a final assembly. And then, oh, this is for a fence. That's what that, um, yeah, that's what that fencing looking thing was for, is for a fence. Cool. And then a cot we can put on the front there. And uh, the figures, of course, that we can mount in uh, different, um, yeah, different. <laughs> they're, they're actually in action. They're not just standing there going, kind of cool. So I like that. This will go well with my somewhere in Saigon figures, I think. Kind of fun. And I've been wanting to build another one for years. It's just kind of fallen down on my list of priorities over time. But it's nice to know that, you know, I have one and I can build it whenever I would like. So there you go. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today, folks. That was quick and easy and definitely, um, you know what, it's easy enough to build, um, but yet it's detailed enough that it really is cool. So highly recommend you get one. Okay. See you soon.